Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggy. Bottom left-hand corner, we have the blue Zerg. Upper left-hand corner, we have Tenderization starting as the green Terran Striker, one of the favorites to win the entire thing. He's one of those guys that, yeah, I think he's actually the favorite. I mean, I've been saying Jayun's the favorite this entire time. In reality, I think Striker might be arguably the best Zerg in the country at the moment. Very strong arguments for that. Actually, I take that back. Uh, I'll come back to that comment in a moment. Um, one of the top three Zergs. I'll put it there. Tenderization. I don't want to get too distracted on singing Striker's praises and how good a Zerg player is and not mention Tenderization because he is like the king of memes in the community. He's been... Uh, he made the uh, salt indicator for Artosis' stream. Every once in a while, I put, put out some really fun quality clips from that. Also has done a lot of side projects and is just an all-around smart, awesome dude. So keep an eye. If you see him, say what's up. Awesome guy. Has also contributed, I think, a bit to some various code bases. At least I know he's active on Engineering Bay. By the way, if you're a programmer, Engineering Bay exists, which is a, kind of a general programmer location for people to coordinate and see what kind of programming projects are out there and do stuff like that. Striker opening up with it looks like a 12 hatchery. Tenderization. Just going to opt for a barracks first. Overlord making its way bottom right, which I think I might have already mentioned. Having one of those days. Striker also sending out that drone scout. Striker's one of those guys, though, that he can just open up two hatch mutalisk and just play straight mutalisk and completely annihilate his opponents, especially in land conditions with how strong his mutalisk micro is. And he is one of those guys that more, really more so than any other Zerg, pulls the trigger and just goes for the jugular against his opponents. He likes closing out wins and closing them out rapidly. Tenderization scouting upright in corner first. Hatchery about halfway finished right there. So barracks complete. Drone is going to sneak in to see its completion. First Marine being produced. Getting some pot shots against that SEV. It looks like Tenderization is holding minerals to potentially go for that one Rax and to expand standard play. <clears throat> Three drones in the gas, spawning pool about halfway finished. And this time the second SCV should be able to scout that, but he's, Striker's going to have some trouble with this Marine in the way, delaying that command center all that much longer. Tenderization is going to be able to go ahead and plop that down. But with that spawning pool finished, it looks like Striker upon spotting that is just going to go straight drones, straight drones, straight drones, and teching directly to Lair. First two Zerglings, with that follow-up, but that's not going to stop that SCV from being able to go ahead and spot the hatchery already active for the natural expansion and be able to wander in and confirm the layer timing. Now, let's see if there's any movements here to secure a third base, or if Striker does in fact opt just to go for straight two hatch. In the meantime, Tenderization plopping down that second barracks. Does have that command center in construction, is not opting to drop a bunker, because I think with what he's seen, he doesn't feel he needs it. Especially like the because if he, and I think that's the right call, looking at everything here, it was pretty much heavy drone all the way through. Although he's not keeping an SCV, well, now he's sending one back out, just to make sure that additional Zerglings aren't starting to gather out on the front. Let's we'll see if this SCV returns to home base. It's been kind of, come. You know, <laughs> I don't know why the Snoopy Come Home song came to mind right there, but it did. Let's see if this is two racks into Academy, or if it's going to be two racks into eBay. It looks, I, I have a feeling this is going to be two racks into Academy. <clears throat> and I don't know that, honestly, it feels dangerous against Striker, just kind of trying to play bread and butter, stereotypical Terran style. Tenderization confirming the layer timing, confirming the Spire timing, knows that he's not, at the very least, not going up against two Hatch Hydra. Second gas is plopping down, which, yeah, I think this is going to be an indication that we are going to see two Hatch, maybe some strong two Hatch Mutals play. There is a drone wandering out to go ahead and grab a third, although it, it looks like it's going to go in and grab that third at the far right, which means that Striker is going to need, and this is kind of throws some confidence out there, that he's going to need to maintain air control, keep those mules in the air, because if Tenderization is able to break out with Medic Marines, it's going to be a difficult reinforcement defense up until those Nidus Canals are active, because this is a far corner expansion. Zerglings testing the front just to poke and see how many Marines are out there. The Academy just coming online. The Spire 
not that far from finishing. Stimpak being researched. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll see how this turns out. I'm really curious to see how aggressive Stryker's going to get with the Mutalisks here. And I think he is going to go potentially just going to skip the Hydral's Den and just go a f full flood of Mutalisks. Initial five are being produced. No e Oh, sorry, there is an eBay to the north for a second. I was about to say no eBay, so this could be danger time. But it looks like the missile turrets are in construction and in time. Tenderization walking his way out with the initial force of Medic and Marines. I think the Zergling's spotting it and going ahead and peeking out. And yeah, we're seeing... It, yeah, looks like it's just going to be straight Mutalisk, I think. And plus one weapons to make them hit all the harder. Tenderization poking out, dropping a commsat at the natural expansion, looking to see whether there's any Sunken Colonies there. And with the lack of Sunken Colonies, maybe looking to engage. One Marine already getting picked off right there from the initial five. Second Marine getting shredded. And Tenderization holding short, wanting to keep these Mutalisks at bay. But as seven group up, Striker looking to grab angles and go on the hunt. Additional Marine moving out. And this is where Tenderization does need to be a little bit careful and not overstim and drain all that medic energy. In fact, I, I'm a little concerned he did overstim, and now Striker might have eyes on it, because now the medics have no energy left with those stims, and so these marines are going to be extremely vulnerable. And yeah, senses it like a shark in the water. Picking off marines. Got good damage on those medics as well, and keep in mind, because of the lack of energy, they cannot heal each other, so they're going to get picked off, and now Tenderization being sent back home with a very bloody nose. A lot of medics gone. And now look at, yeah, Striker just continuing to cycle the Mutalist. He is adding a drone here and there, but he's mostly sticking at that 27 count. He does have third gas up in that right-hand corner, but going to shred the turret there. Start going to work on the SCVs. More Mutalists joining, and this is going to be, on, oh, I think this is going to be a quick one. Bunker being produced to try to make up for the lack of medics in between here. But there's only four functional SCVs here left at the natural expansion. And still 10 Mutalists with a pretty sizable health package. What do I want to call that? Bulk health? They're doing okay. They're healthy. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Starport on the way as well. Only three barracks still. And the turret that was protecting them on fire. Striker though, looks like having a little bit of trouble Micro in these Mutalists loses two in that exchange, but still is well on the way to saturating that bottom right-hand base. Tenderization in the dark, down 20 supply, desperately trying to just get his natural expansion saturated again, and has a bunch of turrets in the way now. Some more Mutalists are nearby to go ahead and join the fray. It looks like a Hydralist den was plopped down with lurkers. Honestly, I'm wondering, this almost feels like a little bit of mercy, to be honest from Striker's point, because I do not feel like he needs these lurkers. Going to Hive. Like, I, he really could have skipped lurker tech altogether. Some more medics out on the field. The exposed SCVs on the line. Striker still going in and taking out SCVs. The Marines trying to make their way across there. Full control group here for Striker. Plus one weapons, I believe, is finished. If I can click on just one. Yeah, plus one weapons is complete, which means those turrets are pretty rapid kills. And Marines, again, getting, yeah, shredded and poked off, and I gotta, yeah, Queen's Nest already down, Hive Tech, two-thirds finished, Striker in firm control at 78 supply, Tenderization still boxing his base, doesn't yet have his fourth barracks, is just now getting his science facility, two turrets being built, and he had to cut a lot of economy to build these turrets. And honestly, it almost feels like the Marines are practically outnumbered by Mutalisks right this second. Starting to push forward out on the map. Now that he has... Well, does he have plus one weapons yet? No, doesn't have plus one weapons yet. Ugh, and we're almost at the 10-minute mark here. So, and there's still 10 Mutalisks nearby, and this is a nice gap to engage. Striker, again with the supply lead, now morphing some Lurkers on the front. Honestly, this could be a kill blow at this stage between the Mutalisks and the Lurkers just diving out to the natural expansion even without Defiler support. Third gas running. There are two Lurkers morphing there just in case. I think Striker at the moment just kind of going through the paces. Defiler mount about halfway finished. 
CompSat's dropping for tenderization. He has spotted the... So, realizes there's no expansion here at the 6. Striker probably could have taken that and held it, given the troop counts. It looks like now those turrets have been... I'm not sure if that was a self-annihilation or those... They burned down or something along those lines, but it looks like that barracks... Fourth barracks finally coming online. Interior to tenderization is a base. He does have that irradiate and science vessel on the way. And now, yeah, Lurker's pressing forward. <clears throat> And getting boxed back still, there's detection back here with those turrets, but Striker slowly poking forward with that and the Mutalisks, and that's going to make defending this natural expansion quite the challenge. Science Vessel moving out. This is still a lot of Lurkers, yeah. And Tenderization going to GG right there. Striker just really barreling him over <clears throat> straight through, which no... This is no shade to Tenderization at all. Striker is just an incredibly brutal opponent, as we, as we saw here. We'll move on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.